Hello from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria. Let's take a look at the weather for the week ahead. Here is a look at the weather highlights. And so here through Tuesday, we're going to still have monsoonal moisture over the mountains and deserts, and that could produce isolated thunderstorm activity. But that will move off to the east with no more additional thunderstorms anticipated through the rest of the week. A trough will be moving into the area from the north. This will result in gradual cooling conditions with temps actually running below normal Wednesday through Saturday. That trough will bring increasing westerly winds, especially through the mountain passes and across the deserts. And yeah, believe it or not, rare this time of year, but we could get some drizzle and light rain along the coast and into the valleys associated with the deepening marine layer. And if you're going off to the beaches, beware of rip currents along our coasts and especially at the Orange County beaches due to a south swell. Here's a look at the overall moisture levels in the atmosphere and time this week. This is monsoonal moisture. See the blues and darker greens and that shoves off to the east with this brown which represents drier air working into the area from the northwest and in the Southern California this weekend. That's associated with that trough I mentioned. And so we're going to shut off monsoonal thunderstorm activity, but the incoming trough again will lead to some light rain Tuesday night through Thursday along the coast and into the valleys and those gusty westerly winds through our mountain passes and across the deserts. The trough will lead to that gradual cooling. Here's a look at highs Tuesday. See the 90s over the Inland Empire, 90s to near 100 over the high desert, about 106 for the lower deserts. And now when we go to Wednesday, look at that cooling. Highs only in the mid 80s for the IE, around 90 for the high desert, and only around 100, which for, for that region is relatively not so bad for this time of year for the lower deserts and you can see the coast will be in the 70s and inland valleys around 80. Temperatures will remain below normal all the way through the weekend. How much rain do we expect? Well here's a look at the lower 48 seven day forecast uh, precipitation amounts mostly dry over California. You see these blips here that's that potential for isolated showers or thunderstorms over the mountains. You can see nothing significant, less than a quarter inch. And then Tuesday night through Thursday, you see that very light precip there. That's that deepening marine layer with some drizzle and light rain possible. And again, we're only talking a few hundredths of an inch of rain, but hey, it's something. So in summary, isolated thunderstorms, mountains, deserts, Tuesday, that monsoon moisture shifts off to the east, so we have dry conditions for the mountains and deserts Wednesday through the weekend. But we could have that drizzle and light rain near the coast and into the valleys Tuesday night through Thursday, associated with more low cloudiness and that deepening marine layer. And that will produce, uh, that trough produces greater onshore wind flow. So watch for gusty winds through the mountain passes and deserts generally 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts. And that below normal temperatures, a relief for many, arrives Wednesday and lasts all the way through the weekend. So that's a weather summary for the week ahead. For the latest forecast updates, always find those updates on our weather, on our webpage, and that's weather.gov. Have a great week, everyone.